let's actually transition to um, the Lions as a playoff team. How confident? And and I before we go there, I do want to remind everybody, like, make sure you're commenting. Make sure you're talking to us in the chat because we would love to comment and talk. This team is shocking the world right now. Hottest team and, in football. And we want to talk about them. Yes. So make sure that you're dropping comments, questions, thoughts, whatever, into the chat. But we're going to talk about them as a playoff team. And, Eric, I'm actually going to just pull up um, my the the playoff picture okay. it's from NFL.com. Okay? Um, cool. And and this is what it looks like. In the AFC, you have nobody that has clinched yet. The Eagles have clinched in the NFC naturally, yep. right? The, the Vikings and the uh, – Niners and Buccaneers all lead their division. Mm-hmm. However, however, what happens if the Vikings lose out? Something's changed. <laughs> they got... If the Vikings lose out and the Lions win out, could we be talking about an NFC North championship? We could be talking about it. The we could Vikings be talking got, about it. The Vikings got the Colts, the Giants... Um, and then they have the last same two games as the Lions, the Packers, yeah. and then the Chicago Bears. It would be highly unlikely that they lose out, right? But we had but, to bring it up, right? Yeah, they're, but they get they're, they, we haven't bought into them all season. They've had a lot of fluky W's, and yeah. these are some teams that are motivated that are playing them right now. So I, right. I wouldn't rule it out. I'm not ruling really out a rematch of that. But and, let's, for the sake of argument, yeah. say that they don't win, they don't lose out, but the Lions right. do win out, and because we said. We said last week, and I'm going to stick to my thought process. I said if they got past the Vikings, they would win out. And right. they would end up 10-7. and seven. Mm-hmm. Okay? That means that Washington has to get to 10 wins. Yep. And their schedule... That means they'd have to beat the Giants, the 49ers, the Browns, or the Cowboys. Three of those teams. Not easy. I don't think that they beat three of those teams. No, me neither. The Giants would also have to get to 10 wins. And they have the Commanders. So one of those teams will be at eight wins this weekend, most likely. Mm -hmm. Unless they tie again. They have the Vikings, the Colts, and the Eagles. I don't see them winning three of those games. Me neither. And they've just lost, what, three of their last four? Yeah. Just including the tie against well, yeah. So then you also have the Seahawks, who have the tiebreaker over the Lions because of that mm-hmm. disaster in week four. Yep. They have the Niners this weekend, the Chiefs, the Jets, and the Rams. Yep. The Baker Mayfield led Rams. Oh, my God. I had to. I had to. I had to. Just ruining um, all our hopes with Baker. <laughs> so Seattle getting the ten wins, like, no. If the if the Lions get to ten wins, here's what I'm telling you: if they get to ten wins, they are in, hundred mm-hmm. percent. They are in. Yep. I know somebody said that they got an eighty six percent chance if they win out to get in. I I think that number's too low. I think that's I way agree. too low. I agree. If they win out and they get to ten and seven, they are in the playoffs. Yep. Especially, no doubt about considering, it. especially considering the schedule. Again, the Lions have exactly. beaten two of these teams already. The Panthers should be trying to tank right now. The Jets almost just lost their quarterback. Mike White almost got smacked. Well, he did yep. get smacked and blown away by the Bills. And I then, saw um, that hit. He like got folded like a rag oh, doll. That was nasty. That was nasty. And then they um then, then they just lose their D-tackle Williams as well, who's a huge part of that defense on that D-line. Listen, it, to me, if I had to put money down, I'm not telling nobody to do that. We all got bills to pay. But if I were to put money down on this, I think the Lions have the best odds of getting 10 wins of all these teams that you just mentioned. Oh, 100%. Easily. 100%. The Carolina game scares me a little bit. Okay. I, the, the Jets this weekend is going to be a physical game. I yep. would expect it to be within a, a score. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a last second field goal, which, you know, who knows? I would like for it to not be close because I don't want to have to stress about game results. Right. <laughs> but the Bears, Justin Fields could be shut down by then. Right. Um, the Packers, Aaron Rodgers could be retired by then. Could see Jordan Love, yep. Yeah, but, but eh, whatever. 
Um, not too impressed with him to begin with. And Which I, is good. Cool. Yeah. yeah. But the Carolina game scares me a little bit. They've been, they've kind of are on the similar trajectory of the line. They just beat the Seahawks this last weekend. They did. And that's like, this is a team that's not supposed to be like, this is Sam Darnold at the quarterback. Right. <laughs> like, this is not supposed to happen, but we're going to Carolina. Right. We got three of these last four games are road games. If yeah. I'm if I'm not mistaken, and that I believe so, yeah. They go to New York, they go to Carolina, they come home for the Bears, and then they travel to Lambeau. Mm-hmm. If they win out, they are in. Right. If they go three and one, I think they need a little help. Okay. That's just that's just kind of the the, the thought that I'm throwing up there right now. Okay. What are your thoughts on playoffs? And how confident are you if they do make it to the playoffs? I ain't going to lie to you, man. I If it's outside the Eagles, and again, you just talked about them. This conference has been horrible. Awful. All the hype came in for the AFC, and rightfully so. The NFC has been horrendous. We thought the Bucks were supposed to walk away, run away, sprint away. Speaking with of the that, NFC South. Not to cut you off, but to add to your point. Did you catch mm-hmm. Dan Orlowski this morning? No, what happened? What did he say? Who's the number three team in the NFC right now, according to Dan O? San Fran, right? He said the Detroit Lions are the third best team in the NFC right now. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> no, oh, I don't Dan. know how much you like buy oh. into that. Oh, Dan. But <laughs> it, come, come cool that takeoff with a glass, bro. Come on over here. <laughs> That's tough. That's tough. I don't know. I mean, it, it's going to be very interesting. Let's say, like right now, the the Eagles and the Vikings would have a bye if the season right. ended. No, the Eagles would have the bye. Right, yeah, they would have the bye because they've been the, yeah. not the NFC. East. And if the Lions got in at 7, they'd be going to Minnesota. Mm-hmm. If they got in at 6, they'd be going to San Francisco. Yep. Brock Purdy. I, yeah, I, I, Ken, you're right. I mean, this is exactly like nobody wants to play Detroit right now. That's facts. And the beautiful thing about this, too, is like this is with a loss to the Bills in somewhat of heartbreaking fashion. Yep. And they bounced back. They did. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that when we talk about this word right here, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yep. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, you can lose, but don't let it spiral you. And they're not. Right. And it's, you know, I'm, outdoor games, they got, you know, New York, Carolina. Carolina should be fine because it's Carolina and it's beautiful down there. Yep. But, like, Lambeau and New York could be difficult. Um, I just, but, yeah, I mean, I, they, they've shown the ability to put points up outdoors. I mean, they put up 24 against Minnesota. It wasn't great. 31 against the Bears. Uh, 31 against the Giants. Like, yeah, these are all outdoor situations. So, while Green Bay has a good defense, and Minnesota's not Jets, outdoor. They're not in a. Are they in a dome again? Oh, they finally put them back in a dome. Okay, never mind. Because they, they were, were for while a while. their while their stadium was being built, they were playing okay. at the University of Minnesota. Gotcha. But they're back indoors now. Got you. But I mean, even with that considered, so yeah, it was a, a, away from home. They showed to be just fine and comfortable with it. And considering what you did to them at home. The road don't scare me with none of these teams. You can no. put whoever you want. If you had to go see Seattle again, you somehow have to see Tom Brady and the Goats in you know in the first week. I think you can get them. The Bucks have been horrible. They yeah, have I been terrible in a division that they should have been running away with at this point. The Lions shouldn't be scared of anybody in this conference. 